All right, so we're inside at the Duluth Build House. This is the indoor unit of the Wiesman Vito Cal heat pump system. All right, uh, we've got piping to the outside. This is inch and a quarter copper. Transition over to inch and a quarter. Upinor PEX A, that's oxygen barrier PEX, right? We're insulated. We're going about 30 feet over to, through the uh, basement over to the outdoor unit. Uh, we've got full control here and, and uh, we can see what's happening here on the control. You can see outdoor temp 19 degrees. You can see date and time. You can see what's going on. Our heating is running. Our pump is on. Uh, we have a uh, heat pump running all right now as it as it's operating we're not enabling the gas boiler at the moment although it can also inside of the unit here is a diverter valve a built-in pump this is the only pump on our system to the outdoor we didn't have to add any more to that because we sized that piping appropriately and then we've got a capability of using this as electric resistant backup heaters those are heating elements inside of this small little reservoir we're not using this we have programmed the unit to use the gas boiler as the backup also a couple of components that were added uh, on the installation the webstone uh, purge valve just makes installing and purging and adding glycol easier and then i added the kalefi xf filter so this is an inline filter you can see it there um it uh is protecting the outdoor unit so this has a filter media inside of it it has a magnet inside of it and it's going to co collect particles uh just incredibly small particles that are going to keep the outdoor unit, uh, which has a flat plate heat exchanger, it's gonna protect that, right? So you can flush this out, it's self-cleaning by turning this here, any kind of debris is gonna fall to the bottom of this canister. Very cool, this can actually be installed vertical or horizontal because it swivels right here, okay? That's a swivel connection right there, so you can install this in different positions. Um, very cool added component to there with the union connections and then press fittings that's all inch and a quarter right there uh, not absolutely necessary it is recommended in the Wiesman manual and if you're doing these hydronic uh, air to water heat pump systems you want to con consider something like that and then out of the unit so we've got the supply and the returns here uh, they go through the diverter valve will tell the water where to go. It's heating right now. It's quite hot, by the way. It's, it feels awesome. Uh, it's going into this buffer tank. It's charging this buffer tank, which the gas boiler is also connected to. This is a plastic 40 gallon buffer tank out of the buffer tank. We're going to go to the uh, distribution piping. We've got loads of in-floor heat. We've got underfloor heating here. We've got a uh, remote building here where we've got that um, Upinor Ecoflex here where we're supplying heat to a remote um, uh, workshop. We've got our expansion tank. We've got our glycol feeder. And that is kind of the other side of what this was applied to. You saw some videos of that so far. Let's, uh, you're going to see a whole bunch more. There's a cool video on my YouTube about this. I want you to take a look at that. I'm very excited. We'll have some more stuff for the build show too. Thanks for watching guys.